Day two of Donald Trump's criminal trial, and he didn't quite manage to get through the day without resting his eyes yet again. Those in the courtroom reporting that he periodically leaned back in his chair, closing his eyes, only to shift his weight moments later. Adding it is difficult to say whether he fell asleep or is resting his eyes or maybe just silently praying. This is possibly the most punishing ordeal for Trump, to just sit down and shut up in a room where he has no control for like eight hours a day, four days a week, a trial that will last for possibly two months. This is also a time when Trump is not on the campaign trail while his opponent is out campaigning. President Biden is doing a three-day swing in Pennsylvania, a crucial swing state where he is hammering home his economic message. People like Donald Trump learn very different lessons. He learned the best way to get rich is inherited. Not a bad way. <laughs> I'm not. He learned that paying taxes was something people who work for a living did, not him. I guess that's how you look at the world when you're in Park Avenue or Mar-a-Lago. When I look at the economy, I don't see it through the eyes of Mar-a-Lago. I see it through the eyes of Scranton, and that's not hyperbole. That's a fact. Senator Elizabeth Warren is a Democrat of Massachusetts who serves on the Subcommittee on Taxation and IRS Oversight, and she joins me now. Um, you know, Senator, we've, we've been doing this uh, series on my podcast about the sort of records of the two men, because it's the first time since 1892 when they both have records. And I think <laughs> one place where the record is just probably clearer than almost any other is on taxes, is on who gets yep. tax cuts and, and, and who that affects and who benefits and who doesn't. Yep. So look at it this way, right? Donald Trump actually had only two accomplishments in his four years. And one was the extremist Supreme Court that overturned Roe versus Wade. And the other was more than $2 trillion in tax cuts, mostly soaked up by millionaires, billionaires, and giant corporations. Here's Joe Biden out there fighting to make sure that we get access to abortion and other reproductive rights. But on taxes, Watch the difference. Joe Biden actually got through a 15 percent minimum corporate tax on billionaire corporations. And let me just remind everybody what that is. Remember how Amazon a couple of years back reported $11 billion in audited financials on their taxes, uh, on their profits? Mm -hmm. And how much did they pay in federal income taxes? Nothing. And so what this bill, uh, what this law is about is it says for those companies that make more than a billion dollars in reported taxes, they got to pay in reported profits, they got to pay a minimum of 15 percent taxes. And I want to just say one more thing. That was the first tax increase on these big corporations in more than 30 years. And it was used to fund the biggest climate package right. in the history of the world. So one of the things that is is interesting to me is, uh, so you've got a record here, right? There's the, the, mm -hmm. the funding of the, the American Rescue Plan and, and the Inflation Reduction Act and tax consequences. You've got the, the, the big uh, Trump tax cuts. But there's a huge prospective issue, which is 2025. Yes. Right. So I'm not sure people are keyed into this, but yep. the, the, the 2025, like a big chunk of the term tax cuts expire that mostly benefit the people at the top. And there's basically it's going to we're, we're going to go one of two routes, depending on who has control. Yeah. You come to the fork in the road, take it, uh, because here's where this goes. Donald Trump has said in rooms full of rich people. Just get him back in there, and he is going to make sure that taxes are cut for the millionaires, the billionaires, and the giant corporations. Joe Biden is headed in a very different direction. He says he is going to raise taxes on the billionaires, and he's going to increase the minimum tax on the billionaire corporations. And that he's going to use that money to invest back in America. And that is a huge difference between them. If I can, there's Please. one more contrast between the two, and that is tax cheats. You know, the people who make a lot of money, and the law is perfectly clear that they are supposed to pay, but they cheat on their taxes. One of the bones of contention over the last couple of years has been that Joe yes. Biden and the Democrats have actually funded the IRS so they can go after those millionaires and billionaires that cheat on their taxes. And the consequence of that is to actually make them start paying. 
that's something that President Biden wants to make long term. That's something that the Republicans and Donald Trump want to get rid of. So it's partly about what the law says you have to pay, and it's partly about who's going after the cheaters and Donald Trump and the Republicans who are saying cheating on your taxes, if you're really, really rich, is fine with them. Yeah, and in case anyone thought that you were making up the promise from Donald Trump, I wanted to play. He was he said this to a, in, in a, a huge high dollar fundraiser for very very wealthy people. Here's what he had to say on taxes. You all people that have a lot of money, I know uh, <laughs> twenty of you, and you're rich as hell. <laughs> we're going to give you tax cuts. We're going to pay off our debt. We're going to do all of the things. <laughs> We're going to do all the things. We're going to give you tax cuts. And again, just to go back to the distributional, could we show that chart again? Because I think it does actually, it's really important for people to understand. Like, those, that's what it looked like, the distributional effects of those Trump tax cuts. And on just on this point on 2025, because I think I just want to zoom in on this a second. This is really important for people to understand. They expire on yes. their own unless affirmatively extended, right? So the, the, the kind of... The default is on the side of them going away, which does create enormous incentive for people who are very wealthy and want to see a tax cut to try to get Donald Trump elected because it really will make an enormous amount of difference in a lot of people's bottom line. I mean, billions and billions of dollars are on the line here. You know, or another way to say that is taxes are going to happen next year. It is going to be a huge, there's going to be a tax bill one way or another. Right. But because of this expiration. Right. If the Republicans get to control the game, then right. the answer is right. it's going to be right. a payday for the people who are already rich. And, and remember what that means. Everybody else has to pick up the slack. So that's everybody else who's going to actually have to pay for all those roads and bridges that we need. It's everybody else who's going to have to pay to make sure that the military is still paid. It's everybody else who will have to pay because somebody like Jeff Bezos is paying taxes right. at a lower rate than a Boston public school teacher. That's the kind of thing that's on the line. And what Joe Biden is saying is give him a chance. And what he's going to do is he's going to raise taxes for those at the very top, reinvest that in America, and he's going to make sure that the IRS has enough money to go after tax cheats so that just because they're rich and just because they can hire a bunch of lawyers doesn't mean they don't have to pay their taxes. They got to pay like everyone else. Yeah, that, that point about next year and the tax bill is such an important one. It's a forcing mechanism. It's happening. It's a question of who controls it. Senator Elizabeth Warren, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.